People come from near and far. A mix of fascination, revulsion, and straight up disbelief. Most of us will do anything to steer clear of a feisty rattlesnake, but not this man. He's made a career of tangling with vipers. And today, he's raising the stakes, getting down and dirty right in the snake pit. Sixty-eight-year-old Jackie Bibby is a legend. They call me the Texas Snake Man. I'm an attention seeker. I really like attention, and I'm a showman. I really enjoy performing for people. For nearly half a century, Jackie's been pushing the limits with one of nature's most finely tuned killing machines. And now, he's attempting one of his most dangerous stunts. He's going to share a bathtub with 20 riled up rattlesnakes for 15 minutes. If I'm bit, I'm either hurt or dead. Believe it? Oh, whoa. Or not. I got involved in handling rattlesnakes at a rattlesnake roundup. I was 18 years old, 1969. I went near to the rattlesnake sacking championship. That's where you gotta have two men in the pit, one holding the sack, one picking the snakes up, putting them in the sack. I was the only non-professional in the competition, and I won two trophies, $30, and got my name in the paper. The rest, as they say, is history. Give Jackie a big hand there. All right. Since then, Jackie and his rattlers have been entertaining audiences all over the globe. I have over 100 trophies now, and I hold the world record for that sport. But Jackie has paid a steep price to get where he is today. In 49 years of handling snakes, I've received 12 serious bites. I only count a bite that sends me to the hospital. You can see they have a divot in my hand where the, where the venom rotted my hand out. My other thumb is stiff. I don't have any mobility in the joint and I have a deteriorated tissue on the end from snake bites. This thumb's been bitten three times. Within seconds, rattlesnake venom stops your blood from clotting and starts dissolving the flesh and muscle tissue around the bite. And some bites are worse than others. Six years ago, Jackie endured an attack that nearly ended his life. My worst bite, a snake bit above my boot. Big snake, almost six feet long, and a lot of venom. You begin to have discoloration and blood blisters at the side of the bite. You begin to have a coppery taste, kind of like you stuck a penny in your mouth. You're going to probably start projectile vomiting. You get really sick, and it hurts really bad. By the time they got me to the hospital, my leg was already dead. Three days later, they started chopping on my leg. 10 operations, and a month later, they kicked me out. Everybody thought, well, is he going to quit? Nah, I just bought a leg and went back to doing it. Today, he'll tempt fate and the fangs of over 20 venomous rattlesnakes. They have their venom, they have their fangs, they have the capacity to inflict a deadly bite. So we're not milking these snakes beforehand. We're not sewing their mouths shut or anything like that. It'll all come down to a battle of will versus instinct. Those snakes have the capacity to kill you. He's determined to spend the next 15 minutes in the tub with them. But that's a long time when you're in the strike zone. Whoa! Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. As these snakes get deeper and deeper on me in the bathtub, it's a little bit more nerve wracking because you don't know where they're liable to go. What they're after is a dark, tight place, which means they could wriggle behind Jackie, sneak underneath him, or try to hide under his pants or shirt. Wait, there's stuff under me. I 
know. Mm -hmm. Several of them got behind me. Some got under me. Some were between my legs. And there's always the danger, you know, being bit in the back. Bites to the extremities are dangerous enough. But if this errant rattlesnake strikes Jackie's torso, the venom will reach his heart so fast that he would likely die in minutes. All right, Dougie, let's go backwards. This is the tough part. Dougie, you got one in the quilt. You're gonna have to move me up. Whoa! I'm got it. You know, it was kind of edgy there for a few minutes. But uh, when I first started handling, I had no idea that the snakes would take me where they did. You know, I certainly never said to myself, wow, if I get good at handling snakes, I'll get to go to Paris, France, or London, England, or Istanbul, Turkey. And the fun that I have and the things I get to do are all well worth the danger that I encounter as a result of doing what I do. My name is Aaron Wollen. People call me Shorty, or Shorty Dangerously. That's my stage name. Shorty Dangerously is a natural-born entertainer who's about to push his act beyond the pain threshold, even if it means paying a huge price. When he's not cruising in his Camaro, or rocking his skateboard, Shorty gets around like this. His hands are the source of his strength and his mobility. But now, he's putting them to the ultimate test, jumping from a stool and landing in a pile of jagged glass, hands first. Believe it? Or not? I don't remember learning how to walk on my hands. I just natural adaptation, I guess. It's never stopped him from making friends or meeting girls. That guy gets more girls than anybody I know. I was born with a condition called sacroagenesis. Half my spine is missing. Sacroagenesis is a rare condition that affects one in 25,000 births. All of Aaron's organs function normally, but the lower half of his skeletal system never properly developed. I was born with legs, but when I was two and a half, they were amputated because they were just skin and bones. They had no muscle structure. It's funny because I had prosthetic legs when I was younger, and about the time I was in fourth grade, those gave me more limitations than my disability ever did. All they did was make me taller. I always tried to do the normal things a kid does. My mom definitely, no self-pity. Don't feel sorry for yourself. You know, nobody's gonna hand it to you, you know. In his late 30s, Shorty saw something that would change his life. Film of a guy named Johnny Eck, who was born with sacral agenesis, just like Shorty. From the 1920s to the 1940s, Johnny worked constantly in sideshows and films, becoming a household name. I saw that he did a one-arm handstand, and I was like, I could do that. So I practiced it. Shorty found that he had inherent talent. Now he needed a way to show it. So six years ago, I joined a circus. It was a traditional 10 in one sideshow. It was the sideshow that you would see at the carnivals. You want to see the girl in the contortion box, you pay a dollar. Or you want to see the guy put the pins through his face, you pay a dollar. I just fell in love with being on stage and I knew that's what I wanted to do. Shorty soon became a star attraction with a singular purpose. Uh -huh. 
When it's all said and done, I want to surpass Johnny X legend. And I want to be bigger than him. Jordy is so dedicated to besting Eck that he's willing to attempt something old Johnny never even dreamed of. Today, in front of hundreds of fans, it's Shorty's hands versus a pile of jagged glass. But bigger risk to take than my hands and my ability to walk and move. Whatever it takes is what I'm willing to do to get to where I want to be. If he hits the landing perfectly, he should walk away with just a little pain. But if he's at all unbalanced, his palms and fingers could be shredded. His hands are the only way of transportation that he has. And you would think that he would be so careful to make sure that he didn't cause injury. Right before I get ready to walk on stage, that's where I get the body tingles and I feel like the buzz. But if he doesn't control his jump, damages his hands, his dreams could be over forever. Make some noise for Shorty Dangerously! I know it sounds cliche, but I firmly believe pain is just weakness leaving your body. It's just amazing. He's got a, a way of captivating people and keeping their attention, always. He's crazy. You never know what he's coming up to do. He's truly a legend. You guys having a good time? Yeah! In 40 years, I want people to talk about me like they talk about Johnny Yak. I want to be immortal. I want to be a legend. 우주에서 가장 재미있는 채널 디스커버리